सो फर्स्ट आई वुड लाइक यू टू मेक दैट ट्रेस टेबल इस ट्रेस टेबल को अपने पास बना लो जिसके पास नहीं है इफ यू हैव द पास पेपर तो आप इसको पास पेपर पे लेके आ जाओ द रेफरेंस इज दिस इज द्वेश्चन फ्रॉम अक्टूबर नवम्बर टू वन ट्वेंटी वन का वेरियंट टू वन है अक्टूबर नवम्बर टू वन का वेरियंट टू वन है ये तो ये अगर आपके पास पास पेपर है तो आप पास पेपर से कर सकते हो ठीक है और एल्स इस टेबल को अपने पास आप ड्रॉ करो जस्ट रफ स्केच ऑफ दैट और फिर मैं आगे लेके चलता हूँ इसको वंस यू आर डन विद दिस इन्फॉर्म मी फिर मैं आगे लेके चलता हूँ जस्ट गिव यू मिनट फॉर दिस एंड आफ्टर अट विल स्टार्ट Here is the table. Can you see the word is clean now? सर जी चैट इज डिसेबल्ड आई हैव एनेबल्ड नाउ इज दिस वर्किंग यस सर नाउ इट्स वर्किंग सो आगे बढ़ते हैं इज दिस अ स्क्रीन विजिबल टू यू द वर्ल्ड वन right so just need to copy the flow chart here counter and the values have been input now just need to copy this one distinction and all yeah and it's, it's been recorded class has been recorded लोचार्ट विजिबल है आप लोगों के सामने ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस वन इट फर्स्ट सेज दैट काउंटर वैल्यू जीरो एंड डिस्टिंक्शन वैल्यू जीरो सो व्हाट डू यू थिंक व्हाट शुड आई प्लेस इट हियर फर्स्ट द वैल्यू फॉर काउंटर जीरो एंड द डिस्टिंक्शन जीरो पहले यहाँ पे हमने क्या प्लेस करना चाहिए हमें यू स्टार्ट विद दिस वन ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड यू विल सी काउंटर हैज अ वैल्यू जीरो एंड डिस्टिंक्शन हैज अ वैल्यू जीरो तो फिर हम क्या करें यहाँ पे on the right side counter has a value 0 and the distinction has a value 0 so i'm going to start with this one i will place the value of counter as 0 and distinction as 0 is this clear the first thing am i audible to all of you i didn't uh, see anyone's responses on the chat box right so counter zero and the distinction is zero so now the first thing we need to input the value for mark what is the value for mark here 
the value for mark the first value of the mark is 88 so you can put the value here or even after that sometimes you do not get confused so you can place the value here as well the initialization values you can put it on the first row and then after that the first input value you can place it here fine so this is 88 i have given and then once we follow the flow chart you can see input mark we have entered the value for 88 for input mark is mark equal minus 1 no in the case of no your counter is counter plus 1 your counter is counter plus 1 so after that you are going to add 1 in the counter because initially the counter has a value 0 counter is counter plus 1 so counter has a value 0 0 plus 1 will give you 0 uh, 0 plus 1 will give you 1 in a counter so we are going to place it in the counter is this clear after the counter you can see the arrow which says is mark is greater than equals 80 yes we have the value 88 so yes case give us the value distinction is distinction plus 1 so initially we had a value of distinction as 0 so 0 plus 1 will give us 1 so here we have a value you can see the arrow for the distinction we have value 1 and then according to the uh, lines which is uh, flow lines after the distinction is distinction plus 1 we are going to move up on the right hand side and then we are going to again move towards the input mark this time we have a value for mark as 74 we are going to place 74 here and then in the flow chart after the input mark it checks is equals minus 1 no counter is counter plus 1 so i am going to again increment the counter by 1 to get 2 after the counter is counter plus 1 it says is mark is greater than equals 280 so the value this time is no the 74 is not greater than 80 so that no will move this again to the top to give input mark why slack kar rahi hai still is it lagging tell me still is it lagging or is it fine now if it happens again so please inform me i will try to uh, switch to the network fine okay it if it uh, okay if it happens again then please inform me so right now i am on the third part of it like we are here the mark, uh, the counter is counter plus 1 once we give the value 74 the counter is counter plus 1 so now we get the value 2 after that we see that 74 is not greater than equal to 80 so that's uh, we follow the no path and after following the no path we will move up again and input mark we have the next value as 60 the next value we have is the 60 so i'm going to place that next value of 60 here i have placed 60 in the mark so 60 is not minus 1 okay and in the no we have counter is counter plus 1 i am going to place a value 3 and then after the counter is counter plus 1 the arrow take me to the decision box that says 60 greater than equals to 80 so again the same case 60 is not greater than 80 so the no path will follow will be followed we will again move on to the input mark and in the input mark right now we are going to place the next value which is 90 is this clear to all of you till here after the 90 the value is not equals minus 1 that's fine in the case of no counter is counter plus 1 i am going to add 1 make this 4 after the counter is counter plus 1 it says mark is greater than equal to 80 yes this time 90 is greater than 80 so i will follow the yes path and it says distinction is distinction plus 1 the last value for the distinction we had is 1 so 1 plus 1 we have the value 2 is this clear till here without any voice lag 
bridge. So we have the distinction is distinction plus one. Now the arrow on the left hand side take us to the uh, input mark again. In the input mark again, we are going to place the value eighty four now. This is eighty four. The next value value we have eighty four. So the eighty four after that is not equal to minus one, but it initia uh, it increments the counter by one. I will place five here. And then move on to the decision box. Eighty four is greater than eighty. Yes. Then the distinction is distinction plus one. This time I am going to increment the distinction as well. Again, the arrow will take me to the top of the input mark, and this time I am going to place a new value of eighty seven. Once I am going to place the value of eighty seven, it will also check for minus one. No, it is not equals minus one. But the counter is counter plus one, so I am going to place six here. And again, that eighty seven is greater than eighty four, so I will follow the yes path. And then this time distinction is incremented by one to give the four. That's fine. Again, I'm going to move up input mark. This time I'm going to place a value ninety five. Ninety five. After the eighty seven, I have a value ninety five. Ninety five. Okay. So after the value ninety five, it is still not equals minus one, but the counter is incremented by one. I'm going to place a value seven here, and that. It ninety five is greater than eighty, so it means that distinction has an increment one. This time the distinction goes to five. Now we have five distinctions. Again, we will move up input marks. We have the next value as seventy two. We are going to place the value of seventy two here. Ninety five, seventy two. Okay, and then after seventy two, the value is not equals minus one, but the counter is incremented by one. I'm going to place eight here. The value seventy two is not greater than eighty. I am not going to follow the yes path. I will follow no path. So the no arrow will take me again to the input mark where I am going to uh, give the value eighty four. Once I give the value eighty four, eighty four is not equal to minus one, but the counter is incremented by one again to give the value nine here. And then this eighty four is greater than eighty. So the yes. Arrow will follow, and then this will make the distinction as six. The last second last value we have is the sixty six. So after the eighty eight, I am going to place sixty six here. Sixty six is not equals minus one, but the counter is going to be incremented again, which will make this one as ten. And after the ten, counter is counter plus one. Sixty six is not greater than eighty. No. And then in the input mark, finally I'm going to place minus one. Once I input the minus one here, minus one, what will happen in the input mark after that? It says is mark equals minus one? Yes. This time the mark is minus one. Yes. Then in the award column, now come to the award column. We will move to the new line. In the award column, you need to have the value of distinction. What is the value of distinction? Can please someone tell me what is the current value in the distinction now? Six. So current value in the distinction we have is the six one. So I'm going to take six and then divide it by the counter, and the counter we have is ten. So six by ten will give you point six. Is this clear? So I'm just going to write the Calculation that is point six, and after that it says is award greater than twenty five. Yes, we have the value point six, which is greater than point five. Yes, then the output says highly commended. Is this clear till here to all? And then the program is going to be end here. Is this clear?